Well, welcome. My name is Trishanda, and this is Leukocyte United, a nonprofit reproductive health care network where our primary focus is PCOS, endometriosis, fibroids, thyroids, fertility, and childbirth. Today, we're going to cover a brief history of reproductive health, gynecology, in the United States. However, before we proceed, I have an urgent disclaimer. I am not a licensed medical professional. The information provided today is for educational purposes only and should not be used to discriminate or ostracize any person, group, ethnicity, or race. Records indicate from 1844 to 1849, Dr. James Marion Sims founded the first woman's hospital on a slave plantation in Alabama. Now let's consider why this hospital was built. During this time, slavery was legal and to ensure your property was of good value, they required medical examination. The hospital was also essential because slaves were experienced complications during labor, such as tearing. Sims negotiated an agreement with their slave owner to heal their reproductive issues. In exchange, he was granted unlimited access to perform experimental procedures on these women. For example, he performed 30 surgeries on Ann Arca before succeeding. Keep in mind, the surgeries performed on these enslaved women did not include anesthetic. However, Dr. James Marion Sims did create a technique to repair ruptures during labor, the Sims position, as well as the speculum. In 1855, with the help of Sarah Platt Dormius, they founded the first women's hospital on Madison Avenue in New York City. Helen Octavia Dickens became the first African-American OBGYN. American gynecology was born due to the sacrifices of the enslaved African-American women. One would assume the one who sacrificed the most has the most to gain. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Are you ready? All right, now listen, listen, listen. Are you ready? Are you ready, black people? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready, black people? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you really ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Ready to do yeah. what is necessary? Your body ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to do what you have to do to create life? Hysterectomy. During this procedure, 
a portion or all of your uterus may be removed, thyroid disease. Records indicate 20 million Americans are affected. Fertility. Research states that one in eight couples are suffering from infertility complications. Please keep in mind, everyone is not in a relationship and there are many people suffering from fertility issues based on underlying medical issues such as PCOS, endometriosis, and fibroids. Childbirth. African American women are three to four times more likely to experience complications during childbirth. As I stated earlier, you assume the people who sacrifice the most will have the most to gain. But records indicate they are losing. Lives are being lost day and night. What are we going to do to change the narrative? What are you going to do to save your life? Health is wealth, and it all starts with education, understanding yourself, your body, and your options. We must understand the cause and effects of the foods that we choose to eat. Here, at Leukocyte United, we promise to provide you transparent educational information in regards to your reproductive health, to connect you with non-biased medical professionals while offering you financial literacy and guidance. If you need any assistance or would like to become a referred physician under Leukocyte United, please email leukocytellc at gmail.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Leukocyte United and to follow us on Instagram at WeAreLucasite. More life.